Well, here we are at the conclusion of another successful open house here at West Coast Classic Cougar. This commemorated our 27th year in business, and we couldn't do it without you. That's why we do this event. Some auto parts stores say, hey, come on down for a free hot dog, and we're having a sale on oil filters. We, we go all out. We really do. I mean, with the meals, with the cruises, with the planning, with the events. Uh, and we know that not all 60,000 of our customers, and yes, we've had about 60,000 customers run through our online store in the last uh, five years. We know you can't all come, but this many of you can come and tell everybody else how great it was, and the rest of you can say, oh, I'm gonna go there someday. Anyway, we had a blast. It started out Friday. We hung out here. People toured the shop, the wrecking yard. Some people installed their parts here. It was great to see the camaraderie. Other guys would join in and help them install rocker moldings or bumpers or whatever. Okay, so what's your name and where are you from? Uh, Mark Mohan. Um, I live in Hong Kong. And uh, I'm happy to be here with uh, all these other cougar enthusiasts. So it's a good time. Yeah, it's good to have yeah. you. So tell us about your uh, little center medallion. Our center grill. Yeah. Wow. We've. Uh, we had a pretty good uh, one, a good example on uh, on our car originally, so uh, we took it upon ourselves to take that up to a casting shop in uh, mainland China. We found a very good organization that we're working with, and uh, they 3D imaged the one that we have and uh, produced a, a, a good copy of it. So nice. yeah, we're quite quite happy, quite tickled with it. Yeah, yeah it turned out great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, so what's next? Oh, boy. <laughs> Ask me something easy. <laughs> okay, we got some people in our office. Who are you? I'm Jeff. Jeff? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Portland. Portland? I am Don's oldest customer. Okay. Oh, according nice. to Don. Okay. Did you bring a car in today? I did. 67 XR7, black. Oh, I can He's help got you. 289, four barrel. Nice. Gear vendors overdrive. Fun little car. <laughs> what parts have you gotten from here? Oh, God. Darn near everything, really. You're the only place I go when it comes to scooters. Nice. So. Greg, what happened? I don't think what happened? Well, I didn't leave my hood latched when I pulled out of the parking lot in order to drive up the street and come around onto the grass. And I stupidly stepped on the gas pedal. You forgot? You forgot the hood forgot wasn't it wasn't latched? Oh. It's all right. Live and learn. It's, but it's an example for everyone. So did you okay? hurt? Did and you I will hurt? never forget again. Did you hurt anything? You never forget again. <laughs> uh, just, I meant these, but I put them in the vice and straight. Oh, you didn't hurt the paint? Out. You didn't hurt the paint? You're good. Isn't that great? You're good. I'm so happy. All right, who are you and what are you doing? Uh, my name is Keith Claggett and I'm touching up the, the Cougar, trying to get it ready for to go on the cruise. And that's what I'm doing. Down to the wire. Down to the wire to buff this thing back. It's a single stage paint job, so I buffed this thing back from being absolutely dull to uh, a lot better shape than I thought it was gonna be. It, uh, it was a beautiful color. Yeah. <laughs> Richard, what are you doing? I'm putting a dash in. Why? Well, I'm trying to put a dash in. It's the middle of the car show right now. I know, but Don decided yesterday he wanted to drive this one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but it's been a good day. Yeah? We've had a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of questions, and a lot of neat stuff going on. I saw your car out there. Yeah? Looks good. Good, thank you. <laughs> So 
meeting of the powers. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? We are talking about what to put on the website next. Mm. <laughs> So who's this guy you're talking to, Don? Everyone this is you. Bill Basor, also known as, aka, Mr. Desert Classics. So there's his what? signature right there in that case. Those are his yeah. signature items, most of them. Or Mr. Legendary Cougar. That's right. Be sure and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> we really need your support. <laughs> or visit ClassicCougarCommunity.com. Or keep going. What am I missing? I don't know, speaker enclosures or something? No, no, I'm out of that business. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank God, I can't do everything. So. Yeah. We've been seeing a lot of you in the office lately. How yeah. how many times have you stopped in? This can't thing? even count. <laughs> well, this is the result. Tell us about your car. Well, it's a 1967 XR7 GT. So it's a 390? 390 car, yep, GT. Uh, engine's about, uh, the car was built uh, May the engine is two weeks after that, so it's not the original engine, but close to close. I'm going to get. And it's a four-speed, right? Four-speed, yep. Factory four-speed nice. car. Nice, fun to drive. It's fun to drive. <laughs> I bet. Those all new seat covers and stuff. Yes, yeah, they're your seat cover, your carpet kit. Just about everything from here. Look, bought here. So. So what's the deal with this hood? Okay, this is the hood I bought here. I was close by here. It's a fiberglass over a metal frame. Uh, the guy that put it on from the body shop said never seen uh, an aftermarket hood fit so good so that was great functional hood scoop functional hood scoop tell us about the uh the paint well it's uh, called tuxedo blacks what they're using on new fords lately so it's got pearl in it i do have the 390 gt not quite stock but nice well, it looks great man thank you i appreciate it thanks for coming thank you had a great barbecue at Brian Oss. The cruise out there through the country is just beautiful. And nobody entertains like Brian. They have a beautiful spread. They have a beautiful place to take pictures. He even had, he invited a couple of uh, my customers to stay in the night there. I mean, who does that? Uh, thanks again, Brian and Cindy, for entertaining us every year. Then, you know, Saturday, it's kind of hot. Uh, we hung out here. We, we did more of the same with, with, it was fun to see people looking at other car, people's cars and going, oh, I need that. Well, I didn't even know you could get that. And they'd come in and buy it and, and put it on right there on the spot. And then uh, we went to the, I really enjoyed this. We went to the uh, World of Speed Auto Museum in Wilsonville. And there's a cars and coffee event there where it's like, I don't know, there must have been 300 people there. Cars, motorcycles, foreign, domestic, and there's, there's no judge show or anything. It's just hang out and go to the museum later if you want. Really kick back at some atmosphere. Then we got a personal guided tour of the museum. 
the curator found out about Brian's car. So be looking for that in their next muscle car display coming up in the, in the future months. Then off to the cruise, well, we stopped at Sonic for some, for some good photographs. <laughs> around the Willamette Valley, over the Willamette River on a ferry. How often do you see that many cougars on a ferry? Uh, back here, then uh, another wonderful barbecue, Cleve Helm, our own Cleve Helm, really worked his tail off on that one, so did my wife. And then one more cruise out to the Willamette Pie Company for ice cream. It, it, it just, it amazes me that people want to spend their vacation time he here. They, they came from as far as Hong Kong, we've had people come from Australia, this year we had people come from Connecticut, Arizona, we had a guy drive down his Torino from uh, Alberta, Canada, just because he likes shopping at our store. Doesn't have a Cougar, not many things in our store fit his car, but that's where he chose to spend his uh, vacation, was driving all the way to Oregon. That, that just blows me away. You guys are hardcore about this hobby, but the, the relationships too is fun. I mean, people create friendships here that last, and some of them come back every year just, just looking forward to seeing those friends they only see one time a year. So thanks again uh, for being, w without you guys, there would be no West Coast Classic Cougar for 27 years. Uh, it just wouldn't happen. You guys are it. And, and thank you for the trust you've put in us. Uh, your hard-earned dollars, uh, just, it blows me away at times. So again, thank you. And I don't think we'll be having one next year because of how many goings on there are with the 50th anniversary of the Cougar. So look forward to seeing us at those shows and we'll see you year after next.